Sunday, October 17th, 2010. Another beautiful, inspiring week of maintenance. Uh, waiting this morning about 3.01. Um, the one positive uh, part about that is that I didn't fast yesterday. Uh, so today is my legitimate... Uh, body weight, I'm not depleted, I'm not dehydrated at all. Um, that being the case, I think that I'll easily fall into the 200s as the week goes on, because, uh, you know, tomorrow morning I shouldn't wake up weighing any more than I did this morning. I should actually have a loss, because I'm not, like I said, depleted today. So there shouldn't be any water retention or anything like that. So, uh come next Sunday I should have a pretty good result because Saturday of next week my long sun filled uh, small amount of food day uh, should net some pretty decent results um, again I try to fast once a week I do that you know with a purpose and uh, cats fucking with the camera and uh, so Saturday is the most logical day to do that, and but yesterday I actually ended up uh, packing some food and eating well throughout the day, finishing that off with a large meal last night, so 301, my completely legitimate body weight. <laughs> uh, didn't, didn't weigh myself, uh, sorry, didn't measure myself, and uh, didn't take any pictures. Again, no significant loss, no pictures, and... Uh, Again, uh, next week, you know, my goal, I'll, I'm going to say it's going to be 294. Um, I should drop a couple of pounds this week. I should get down to 298, 299, and then Saturday, uh, fasting for 24 hours, spending the day outside, even though the uh, weather here is finally supposed to cool down this week. Um, it should, you know, yield some pretty decent results. So, goal roughly 294, and uh, that puts me, you know, about uh, what would that be, 6.3 pounds away from the 100 pounds lost mark. So, two weeks from then, three weeks from now, um, I should have hit the 100 pound, 100 pounds lost mark, and uh, you know, that's the monumental day for most people. <laughs> for those of us who have lost 100 pounds before, it's uh, like I've titled other videos, both sweet and sour, because, you know, having started at only a, you know, basic morbid obesity level, where I didn't need to lose 200 pounds, um, having had to lose 100 pounds twice is a bit discouraging. Because, you know, that just means I royally fucked up uh, in between my last weight loss effort and this current one. But here's to, you know, uh, hoping, and I hate to say hoping because that takes it out of my hands and it is entirely within my hands, that this is the last time I'll have to have a huge uh, year-long weight loss effort. And my goal, my final goal, is right around the corner. Um... I'm going to be sinking here into the 290s. <clears throat> I'm only about 40 pounds away from where I want to be, and at that point, like I said, um, there will be changes I'll want to make. I'll want to recompose my body, uh, you know, having a better percentage of lean mass to fat mass. But that's a slow, fine tuning process rather than this, you know, heads first plunge and than a massive marathon for months and months and months and months and months. Um, you know, uh, there's a lot of stress about that. Uh, the fine-tuning, it's a bit more of an, of an idle cruise control process, making small changes to the diet here and there, making small changes to the exercise, and just allowing time and, you know, my body's uh, chemistry and biology to do its work and allow the skin to tighten up and... Uh, Fun stuff like that. Tangents. Blah, blah, blah. I 
considering stopping this video because I went off on such a tangent, but whatever. Everything I talk about is a tangent because this is absolutely unscripted. Um, so yeah, no picks, no measurements, you know, feeling pretty good. Um, have a few fairly exciting prospects. Uh, I, I, I'm seriously, seriously considering going back to school. Um, only for this time, it'll be my first uh, practical education decision, uh, majoring in something where there is a positive job outlook over the next 10 years, and where the salary would be, you know, put me into the a level of prosperity I've never experienced before. So, am I willing to commit another two years of my life for another master's degree? I'm still deciding that, but I think it's going to be the best way just to, you know, finally get comfortable in life and to, you know, grant me some money to invest in my business. And the business is still the ultimate goal, and I'm still optimistic about that. But if I can make a really decent wage, more decent than I even want to say, um, in the meantime, and build that gradually and intelligently, and, you know, have that profit be just a, a nice side income for a while, that's, you know, fucking awesome. Um... So I'll have more on that next week. I find out uh, a lot more tomorrow when I actually have an opportunity to speak with the director, chairperson, whatever, of this particular program. And, uh, you know, here's to hoping that this master's degree is less uh, administrative, less paper writing, and more science and more hands-on. So it's in the medical field. So anyways, looking forward to finding out about that. I'm... 82.3% sure I will be going through with that, and the program begins in July of this year, so I still have quite a few months of puttering around, and, you know, hopefully, you know, begin that fine-tuning process, since I will have hit 250 between now and then, and uh, then put my time and effort into school, and working part-time, and, you know, hopefully being able to survive <laughs> over the next two years, and uh, then getting a great job. We'll see. But, Long enough video for now. Appreciate your support. Appreciate the new subscribers. Uh, everyone else, thank you for continuing to watch. Blah, 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 blah. The same thing over and over again every time. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and until next time.